about two years ago, I decided that I wanted to start making money. And I remember one of the first things that I did was start watching a ton of YouTube videos telling me how to make money as a teen, how to make money online, how to do all these things. And a first thing that I started was called Redbubble Print On Demand. Basically, you create a design for this company called Redbubble and you upload it to their website and they put it on all these kind of merchandise so t-shirts and all these things and if people buy your design people buy a shirt with your design you get a small commission out of it i remember i made a ton of them they were so bad and i just went quickly i was like make one done make one done make one done and i would just keep making them but nobody would buy them and after about like two weeks i was like you know what this is not working let me go do something else and then I tried to do drop shipping. And I barely, you know, actually did some stuff with that, but I learned a lot about it. And I watched a couple like long courses on it. And I still didn't do much about it. I tried a couple of things and it didn't work out. I just got out of it quickly. And then there was a time when I learned a lot about SMMA, which is social media marketing. And it was this business where basically you advertise for other existing businesses. And I learned a lot about it. Again, I watched a bunch of courses. I never did anything. I just said, you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna do this. So I switched to something else. Then I tried making, you know, YouTube shorts with AI automation. And I tried that. I got bored of it. It wasn't something that I could keep on doing. Eventually, I found personal branding. So just YouTube basically. And this was the first time that I actually committed. It was the first time that I said, you know what? I'm not switching. I'm doing this now. I'm gonna keep doing this. And I did. I worked on it. I just, you know, I uploaded my first video. You can go check that out. I'm never deleting it. And since that day in that summer, I uploaded almost every single day. I think I missed like one or two, three days during that time. But I uploaded every single day and I got success that I didn't think I was gonna get. I know it's not much. I know it's not, you know, that admirable, but it was so much more than I expected. I was expecting the small results that I got from everything else, but I didn't. And it was because I finally committed. I finally committed and stopped saying, oh, you know what, maybe that thing will be cooler. Maybe that thing will be more of a success. Maybe that thing will be interesting. Maybe the grass will be greener on the other side of the fence. And this was the first time that even when I wanted to try something else, even when the views were down, even when I didn't think I was getting any success with YouTube, I kept going. I kept going even through those valleys when it was like starting to go up and then just crashed. And instead of being disappointed, instead of saying, yo, this is all the success I'm gonna get, I kept going. And it got, you know, the success that I'm really proud of. It all comes from the mentality that the grass is greener where you water it. The decision does not matter. The business model does not matter. What matters is you. It's your commitment that makes all the difference. You are the common denominator. It's your work ethic that determines your success, nothing else. It's your committing to something. It's you saying, I'm going to do this for an extended period of time, not for two weeks. I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to put my heart and soul into this. That's when you see success. It's not when you're just looking for the results, because in the beginning, the results will always be low. Results work in an exponential fashion. You see nothing, you see nothing, you see nothing, you see nothing, and then you see everything. That's how results work. If you can't understand that, you will always be at the bottom. You need to stop looking for that one thing that will take you to success because honestly, it doesn't exist. The one thing doesn't exist. What does exist is small little things that are done repetitively again and again and again and again. You sacrifice and you do it again and again and again without convincing yourself that you're smarter than you are, without convincing yourself that, you know what, like, you know, that business model seems a little bit smarter. Let me just go try that. That thing seems a little bit more lucrative. Let me go try that. Instead of just committing and you lose the progress that you had, hopping around 
has never made anybody great. No great successful person that you look up to, that you admire, that you're inspired by, they didn't hop around doing different things. They didn't hop around choosing different things. They sat down, they said, I'm committing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be disciplined. I'm gonna think about this day in, day out. This is what I do. This is what I'm going to do. And they did it. And over a long period of time of doing the same thing again and again and again, and not convincing themselves that, oh, you know what, it would be smarter to just leave this and try something else. No, I'm going to do this. I signed the contract. I will take this all the way to the end. And they won. They succeeded. It's because they didn't give up. They didn't just say, you know, it doesn't feel good right now. Results are down. They kept going through the valleys. You have to do that too. So here's my formula for success. The first step is to pick an avenue for growth. And you're not gonna pick this based on what's getting the most results for other people, what seems the most lucrative. It's gonna be the thing that you will do regardless of if you get the results or not. The thing that will be fulfilling in it of itself. For me, I do this because honestly, it's like I understand my own life better because I make these videos. I'm enjoying the process i'm enjoying the process of creating this stuff i like being able to give advice to younger people i wish there was someone like this who was able to talk to younger me and get him out of ruts that i was in i want to do this just for doing this even if i got no success from this it would still be something that was fulfilling it would still not be a waste of time i would appreciate the time that i took to, to do this so choose something that you would genuinely be happy doing with regardless of if you get the results. And next, make sure that you are okay with the pains that it brings. Be okay with the stuff that it brings you. For me, one of the pains that I'm willing to take is the fact that people can make fun of this. People can make fun of me sitting here putting my face on camera. That's okay to me. You know what I mean? Like other business models, you know, people aren't going to be there. People aren't going to be you know, showing to everybody. You're going to be hidden. But for this, I'm showing this to everybody. Anybody who clicks on this video can look at my face. I'm okay with that pain. I'm okay with that. And so that's why I can do something like this. Look at the pains of different business models and see which one you're okay with. Which one are you okay with dealing with? And then you go and choose that one. That's it. Because every avenue will give you success as long as you push it. Every avenue will work if you make it work. The second step in my formula is to go all in for an extended period of time. It's to not give up on yourself. It's to work hard and not convince yourself that, oh, I'm better than this, I can do something else. Just keep doing the things that you know are right, the things that you know to do, and eventually it will work out. Eventually, over a long enough period of time, you will succeed. You have to go all in. I know it's not trendy, I know it's not fashionable, I know it's not a quick tip that I can tell you and it'll give me a lot of views, but the real truth of it is that you gotta work hard. That's it. Like, it's not cool. You have to work hard. You have to push yourself beyond what you thought you were capable of doing. That's what creates pride in yourself. That's what creates respect. And you have to realize, especially if you're looking to gain success in the form of money, that money is value. Money is really value. How are you going to create value out of thin air without just sitting down and just working hard? How are you gonna create value? That's the truth of it, right? Money is a metric for how much value you're trading, that's it. How are you gonna create value if you just sw keep switching things and looking for value? What does that even mean to look for money? Sit down and create value and give that to other people in exchange. That is the real truth of it. That is a truth of understanding what is going on. If success didn't require sacrifice, then everybody could have it. Everybody could just switch a couple business models, find the right one, bang it out, and then they're rich. The real truth of it is that you have to sacrifice. You have to let go of wanting the instant results and instead look for the long term. That is how you win in the future. That is how you win massively. You have to sacrifice on the longer term. I hope that you got something from this video. Go out and conquer.